Simon Says, you know, I just wanted to do this question so I could say Simon Says. Uh, how do you transfer you all users it. and mailboxes from one tenant to another? Yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, it depends. But I think it, we were, we were talking about this stuff, uh, you know, and, and Hal, I know that you have historically done a lot of these, you know, the, these kinds of things, and there's a lot of capability, you know, that within the admin, it's, it's a multi-step process. There's, you know, there's different approaches. There, there's companies that specialize in these kinds of migrations and they've created scripts and tools. So they, they go in and do that. But there, I, I think where most people go now with it, it in exchange uh, migrations are one of the most mature migrations, especially on-prem to the cloud or cloud consolidating multiple cloud locations to location. Uh, through the third-party vendors, the ISVs. Uh, so, for example, uh, you know, my company AppPoint has our fly migration, and mm -hmm. so that you can go in and do that. And so, um, it, you only pay for what you need for how long you need it. So it could be very expensive, but it's a it's a very commoditized area. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of these companies that that do these kinds of migrations. So you have a lot of options. Yeah. But I guess uh, you know, and sadly, they're Go ahead. And sadly, the reason for a lot of that is that the traditional Microsoft methodologies and tools were pretty darn clunky. Yeah. Um, having done a couple of those, again, I, I will I will beg ignorance in that I have not done my migration of that type in, in probably 10 or 11 years, and, yeah. and the technology has absolutely moved on. But back back then, it was uh, it was a matter of trying and basically it was done over IMAP and uh, it just uh, well so, so use case it was slow it was painful be, it made a whole lot of mistakes I have a client that's that's doing this right now they, they've bought there's nine different companies that are coming together and they want to have one tenant and then their previous emails will be a alias to their new and they're going to keep those but they want everybody to have the same branded mm -hmm. email address going forward. And so having, but they've got all this historical information. So, you know, part of me is like, download it to a PST and re-upload it. But no, no. that's not well, a good idea because well, it's- Well, that, that it, way it works. Yeah, it, well, it, but it, yeah, but it, it does the basics. Time and it's slow. Right, right. Yeah. And, and, and that's what you then lose is all the contextual data, the metadata and all the other attributes that are assigned with that, which is something that the ISVs has figured those things out. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of exactly. maturity in that. And I'll, and, and again, I'm not up to speed in the last five years, I'd say on everything Microsoft has done through the admin consoles. I know that they've not gone and just recreated what the vendors do because it's still a thriving business for all of us in that area. Uh, but there are you know, things that we have done that Microsoft has said, you know, the partners have nailed this, so yep. we're not gonna go and try and do everything natively. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's it really, you should look at the partner community. I would recommend taking a look at AppPoint, you know, but there are other solutions that are out there as well. Well, I'll add to that too. I think why it's so important to go look at the partner community and see the tools out there. If Microsoft went and did it, they would do it one way, thus alienating probably a plurality of the rest of their customer base. Right. right. So you, there almost mm -hmm. can't be a one size fits all solution. So having that broad yeah. landscape of partners enables corporations to be able to do it the way they need to do it. Well, but you made a key point there, and and as Simon to your question is like there is no one way of doing that. So even with the simple scenario that you paint here. There are different people in your own organization who have yes. different requirements that are part of that. And so, and the different solutions that are out there will meet those, those differing needs. So, yeah. Well, I think a huge thing is everything's a trade off of time or money. And you could probably try and figure it out and do it manually or figure it out yourself. But if there's a tool that's already developed and people that have done this more than once, like hundreds of times, why wouldn't you defer to that? It's worth it, the investment, because mm -hmm. you'll end up with more of a headache trying to figure it out and wing it than investing in the right tool and the right people to do the job for you. And, and that, that's my teller. Not, I'm not a seller. I'm a teller. And that, I, 
yeah, I have I have a lot of sparkly gray hair for a reason, and things like this where people are like, oh, I'll just figure it out myself. And it's like honestly, in this in this day and age, if you're not specifically working for a solution company, a services company that's doing migrations for other companies, unless that's the scenario, why do you want to go and build expertise and do all of that to to get a migration right? Like, use the tools, that's use the thing. experts that are out there. Spend your time. Exactly. Spend your time actually using a working system in the new platform and the new tenant you know what why are you going and, and wasting time there so yeah do yeah. doing the job you're good at defer to the yeah. people that know what they're doing <laughs> it's worth the investment reduces trauma yeah because <laughs> yeah, we don't have to come in trauma. and clean up the mess afterward i'd rather do it right the first time than have to come up and clean somebody's mess that they tried to figure Absolutely. out themselves. look at you <laughs> Yeah. My, Migration is all about drama, drama, drama. You don't want that drama, people. No. In your life. No. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs drama.